This screens, like those used in Amazon Kindle and other e-readers, are some of the most energy efficient displays in the world because they spend 99% of their time turned off. <laughs> yes, 99% of their time. But how do they manage to stay off while still displaying an image? And if they are so energy efficient, why aren't they used for smartphone or laptop screens? And of course, the most important question, how do they work? Well, stick around that I'll tell you all about it. E-ink screens are a marvel of engineering, yet their operation is surprisingly simple. But before we dive into how they work, let me show you something. Have you ever owned one of these magnetic drawing boards as a kid? You used a stylus with a magnet at the tip, and as you moved it over the board, it seemed to magically draw. If you wanted to erase it, you simply slid the plastic bar underneath, and everything disappeared. As a child, this felt like magic to me. And in many ways, e-ink screens share a lot with this toy, but with a much more sophisticated mechanism. If you've ever used an e-reader like a Kindle or another brand, you may have noticed that reading on these devices is much easier on the eyes compared to reading a PDF or a book on your phone, even in dark mode. This is because these displays don't use the conventional LCD or LED technology found in tablets or smartphones. Instead, they work in a completely different way. In previous videos, we've discussed how traditional LCD or LED screens work. They rely on a backlight that is always on, and a color filter in front that creates the images we see. But e-ink screens take a different approach. They eliminate the backlight entirely. Instead of using light to create images, e-ink screens use tiny capsules filled with a white liquid and small black particles. These capsules act as pixels. But if you look closely, you'll notice that they aren't perfectly uniform in size. Some are larger, some are smaller. There is a reason for this. We will see it later. Here's how they work. The tiny black particles inside the capsules are made of metal. If you bring a magnet close to the right side of a capsule, the black particles will be attracted to that side and the white liquid will move to the left. If you place the magnet on the left, the black particles move left and the liquid moves right. Now, if we view this capsule from the front instead of the side, we'd see it turn black when the particles move forward and white when they move back. It's kind of like magic, right? Just like the magnetic drawing board we talked about earlier. The magnet in the stylus pulls the black particles to the surface, and when you slide the eraser, also a magnet, it pulls them back down, clearing the board. That's why e-ink screens don't need a backlight. They don't require a constant light source to show white, or a mechanism to block light to show black like LCDs do. This brings some pros and cons. One major advantage is that e-ink screens don't need continuous power to keep a backlight on, or to operate an LCD system that blocks light to display colors. Instead, they only use energy when changing an image thanks to small transparent electromagnets that shift the particles inside the capsules. Once the particles are in place, no energy is needed to maintain them there. This is why these screens stay off most of the time and consume very little power. However, the lack of a backlight means that in complete darkness you can't see anything because without light, colors don't exist. That's why some e-readers include small front-facing LEDs to illuminate the screen. But in general, this lack of direct illumination is precisely why reading on these screens is so comfortable for the eyes. Unlike a tablet or phone where a bright light shines directly into your face, an e-ink display simply reflects ambient light, much like paper. Now, why aren't the pixels perfectly aligned like on LCD or OLED screens? Well, having slightly irregular pixel shapes makes text and images look more like printed material. If you zoom in on an LCD, squares and straight lines are perfectly aligned. But an e-ink screen, much like real paper, has a more organic, less rigid arrangement. This is one reason why e-ink displays are so pleasant to read on. They mimic the imperfections of ink on paper. So this technology seems perfect, right? It doesn't use power except when updating the screen, it saves a ton of battery and it's easy on the eyes. Wouldn't it be amazing if computer monitors used this technology? 
Well, they actually do exist. But there are two major problems. The first issue is color. So far, we've only talked about black and white displays. But what if we want color images? Well, color e-ink screens do exist, and they use two main methods. One method places a color filter over the capsules, which works by allowing external light to pass through, reflect off the white liquid inside, and then return tinted by the filter, for example, red. When the black particles are at the top, however, they absorb most of the light, making the screen appear dark. While this method works, it's not perfect as black doesn't absorb 100% of the incoming light. The second method involves using capsules filled with multiple colored particles, each responding to different voltages. This allows the display to create different colors, but controlling multiple colored particles. It's much more difficult than you might imagine than just moving black and white particles. So if color e-ink screens exist, why aren't they widely used? The main reason is that they require multiple refresh cycles to correctly position the particles and display accurate colors. This can make them slow and visually distracting. Additionally, the color range is quite limited, nothing close to LCD or LED displays. The second and biggest problem is refresh rate. Moving the particles is highly energy efficient, but it's extremely slow. Refresh rate refers to the number of images a screen can display per second. Most standard monitors run at 60 Hz, meaning they refresh 60 times per second. Some high-end monitors go up to 144 Hz or even 240 Hz. But an e-ink display? It typically refreshes at about 2 frames per second. To put that into perspective, you're currently watching a video at 60 frames per second, which looks smooth. But if this was an e-ink screen, you'd only see about 2 frames per second, making video playback, gaming, or even smooth scrolling nearly impossible. And there's one more issue. Cost. E-ink displays are expensive to manufacture, and because they aren't evolving as rapidly as LCD and LED technologies, their production costs haven't decreased significantly over time. Currently, they are mostly used in e-readers and specialized writing tablets and there isn't much funding going into research and development to push this technology forward. So it may be a long time before we see affordable, fast refreshing, full color e-ink monitors, or maybe they'll simply never become mainstream. But what do you think? Aside from e-readers, where else could this technology be useful? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks for subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.